It's Mo. It's June, and in June is a super fun readathon, June on the Range. This is a time for reading Western books, watching Western movies, doing Western things. And this year there is a Rootin' Tootin' June on the Range tag, which I would like to do today. I have read one book for June on the Range so far. I read 310 to Yuma by Elmore Leonard, and another book on my potential TBR for June on the Range is The Oxbow Incident by Walter Van Tilburg Clark. I think this, I mean, it looks heavy from the cover. I think this is probably going to be a much heavier, more serious Western than 310 to Yuma. The readathon is put on by Michael K. Vaughn. The tag was created by Steve Donahue. I have seen many of my booktube friends do this tag, including Read by Fred. His was really fun. I also saw uh, Crystal at Fiber Artsy do this, and I really, really liked her version of it. So keep your eye out for more people doing this tag and more fun fun western themed videos. On to the Root and Tootin June on the Range tag. The first question is, a ways out west, have you ever been to the American West? And the answer is yes, I have been to the American West. I have been to New Mexico, which I think is probably the most westerny type place that I've been because I've been up north in Abiquiu and in some of the smaller towns in New Mexico. I've been to Colorado but it was Denver so it didn't feel very western and I've been to various places in Arizona as well. I've been to other places in New Mexico too but the north of New Mexico kind of felt the most like western. I've also been to LA but I don't think that counts either. Question number two, dry Gulch. What's the smallest town you've ever visited? How small is your town right now? Probably one of the smallest towns I've ever visited was somewhere in Vermont. Uh, there's a lot of really teeny tiny little towns up there and we used to go up there every summer and explore around. I don't know which one it would be but that would be my guess. Maybe some of the tiny towns like Ojos Caliente that we visited in New Mexico would have been a small town too. There's also some pretty small towns in New Jersey but my town let's look up my town. According to the 2021 census, my town of Asbury Park, New Jersey has 15,194 people in it. So a pretty small town, but not the teeniest town ever. The surrounding towns have much more or much less. Long Branch has twice as many with 32,000 and Seaside Heights, which isn't too far from me, which is very tiny, only has 2,471. I don't know how you would go about finding the smallest town you've ever been to. I guess you just look at towns, look at the ascending order of towns, smallest to largest in the US. Let's try that. I have no idea how to figure this out, so I'm not gonna keep trying. Question number three, where the buffalo roam? Have you ever seen an American bison in person? I don't know if I have seen an American bison. I don't think so. Maybe if there's one in a zoo, but are they like great white sharks where you can't keep them in captivity? They just like die? Um, they might be. I've, I don't think I've ever seen an American bison. The second part of this question is what's the largest hoofed animal you've ever seen? I'm not quite sure what counts as a hoofed animal either. I think probably an elephant. I've seen an elephant at a zoo before. I have seen a giraffe. They're really big. I've seen a rhinoceros. They might have hoofs. Casually, I've seen, you know, horses. They're quite large. And bulls. I've seen, there's a huge bull at a zoo in New Jersey, in the southern part of New Jersey, that was a rescue bull. And it is enormous. Like, he looks like a wall. He's huge. So I think he would count as well. And then the third part of this question is, do you have any evidence that you live near coyotes? So in my immediate town, no, we don't live that close to coyotes. But there are coyotes in New Jersey. I've seen coyotes in New York and in Vermont, but I've never seen a coyote in the wild in New Jersey and they definitely don't live super close to us. Coyotes do live in areas of New Jersey. Question number four, Old Doc Fry, what's your history with westerns, novels, TV, movies? So my history with westerns is not too much. Probably my favorite western is The Quick and the Dead. That is such a fun movie. I watched probably more samurai movies that were based on spaghetti westerns when I was a kid than I did watch actual spaghetti westerns. My family weren't really into westerns that much, but we did like 
Japanese movies and foreign films. The Quick and the Dead was one I remember seeing in theaters and I remember really liking and I did go through a big like cowgirl phase I think probably partly because of that movie where I was wearing like fringe and suede and cowboy boots. I had multiple pairs of cowboy boots. I was wearing like skirts and vests and denim a lot. So I did love western style and I loved the idea of like pioneering west that like gold rush like American dream like you can go live on your own and get your own piece of property type story I think like I think that was interesting knowing what I know now and how like it really destroyed the West and how horrible it was for marginalized groups and women and all that stuff I probably wouldn't have liked it as much if I'd known but I didn't know so my relationship with Westerns TVs and novels movies I don't think I read I don't think I've really read very many Westerns at all I have read Upright Women Wanted for last year's June on the Range. I did read 310 to Yuma. I'm sure there's a couple of other books that I've read that could be considered westerns, but none of the like big classic westerns. Question number five is Diamond Lil at the Rialto Saloon. What's your relationship with alcohol and have you ever had a friendship with a bartender? Um, so I'll answer the second part first. I was a bartender for a very long time, for like eight to ten years. So I have lots of friends who are bartenders. I know lots of bartenders now. I've always worked in the service industry, so a lot of my really good friends are bartenders or once were bartenders or aspire to be bartenders at some point, and I love tending bar. It was definitely one of my all-time favorite jobs. It was the perfect mix of dealing with customers and not dealing with customers. It was the perfect mix of being in a contained space but being a, an interesting and diverse environment, and it was such a fun time. It's not necessarily something I wouldn't want to go back to per se, but I did really enjoy it. My relationship with alcohol is that I don't drink very much at all anymore. We barely ever drink at home. If we have a beer at home with dinner, it is rare, like twice a year rare. Maybe same amount I will have a cocktail at home, I will have a margarita or a dark and stormy or something easy like that, but I do love me a good high-end cocktail when I go out to dinner. I will drink the occasional glass of wine, but I wouldn't even say we drink a drink of alcohol per month. We probably drink less than one drink of alcohol per month on average. Question number six is the city slicker back from the east. What do you consider the best western you've ever read? So again I haven't read enough westerns to really say but hopefully I'll read a good one one day. Question number seven, the man with the badge. Have you ever been in charge of other people? What's the most authority you've ever handled? Would you be good at it? So I am good at it. I have definitely managed other people. I am a manager that is like my career or was my career for many years. I managed a coffee shop, a bar, another bar, another coffee shop, a restaurant, and various other things. I think probably the most authority I've ever had was probably at one of my bars because I did opening, I did all the hiring, I did all the big talking to the city, paying bills, making sure the liquor license was intact kind of things. So that was a lot of um, responsibility and authority that I had to deal with and of course all the money and all that kind of stuff too. The most authority I've had as far as the most people that I've had to manage was at a restaurant. I managed probably 60 to 80 people in a restaurant at any given time. I ran the entire restaurant uh, with the help of course of my lead chef and all those wonderful people but it was a lot of authority and a lot of responsibility. I don't know what the like benchmark for authority is. Is it that you deal with money? Is it that you hire and fire people? Is it that you run the place? Is it that you decide when to open and close? All that stuff. I've done it all. Question number eight, the Tombstone Kid. Have you ever fired a gun? Been a gun aficionado? Been shot? So no, no, and no. I hate guns. I would never touch a gun. I would never use a gun. I would never want to be around guns. I would never allow a gun in my house knowingly. I would never encourage people to use guns. Guns are for killing and the only reason to pick up a gun is to kill something and I'm not interested in that at all. Question number nine. It ain't the bullet that gets you, it's the fall. How would you ideally like to cash in your chips? 
interesting. I don't really think about this. Everybody dies. Everybody lives. Everybody dies. I don't fear death. I don't want to die. Um, I'd love to die in a nice, easy way. I'd love to die without knowing it in my sleep. I'd love to not suffer, not feel pain, any of that stuff. But who knows what's going to happen. I don't really think about it, but not because I fear it, just because you have to live your life. You can't be thinking about death while you're trying to live your life. The only th worry that I have involved in death is who would take care of my cats, and that is something that I think about from time to time. Who would take care of my cats and how my family would be taken care of, but that's it. So, you know, ideally I'd like to go peacefully. And the last question on this tag is to tag some people. A lot of people have already done this tag. I'm a little bit late to this tag. So I would say if you have not done this tag and you like Westerns, you should definitely try it out. Or you can do this tag in the comments below, as always. Let me know if you're participating in June on the Range. Let me know if you've ever seen a bison. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!